Uh-oh, it didn't turn on. That's not the one. There we go. Sorry about that. It's time to take a break. headed our way. I can feel my courage tremble. Come on, y'all. Get on in here. After I have come so far. Today my heart is sinking. Come on in. And my world is caving in. Are you sitting down taking your break? It's time to rest a little. That way you'll be ready to fix dinner, do everything you need to do. I have I have been busy since I had the show earlier today. I have made three meatloafs. Yep, three. I have cooked some bacon and I have cut up potatoes and I and Brussels sprouts with some bacon. I'm gonna bake that in the oven along. I like to do one, one oven, one pot, one skillet meals. Now it's not gonna be a one skillet meal, but it will be a, a full skillet of the vegetables. And I made two extra meatloaves, one for next month, one for October, and one for November. So I've got three meatloaves filled with yummy, yummy good stuff. And it is going to, I'm preparing, getting ready. Yeah, I'm getting ready. Carol Watson, you have my last name. My maiden name anyway. I was born a Watson. I was doing, Dana and I were doing some ancestry stuff last night looking at some things and having a good time together. No, I'm not cooking three meatloaves. I'm going to cook one meatloaf and I have two ready to go in the freezer. Yep, two ready to go. He came home with two big packages of hamburger meat, really good ground chuck. And so I put it in a big bowl and I put two onions with it and all kinds of good stuff. And I made up three meatloafs. And I'm prepared. So the next time I want to do meatloaf, I just have to take it out and let it thaw up and put it in the freezer. Put it in the oven. So we are good to go. Now this is the time of year you want to start thinking that this way. Because when you think this way, it's going to save you a lot of time and a lot of money. Yep, save you a lot of time and money to be prepared for Christmas. Yeah, it's gonna work. It's really gonna work. Uh, more on the storm, Justin just called and said it's fixing to turn into a Cat 2 hurricane. It's at 90 mile an hour winds and it's headed for 
Louisiana, y'all. Those of you in Louisiana, be ready. Uh, some bad winds are going to be in Mississippi and Al southern Alabama, too, as it skirts past. But be safe. Be ready to evacuate if you need to. Yeah, you know how to do that. You live on the coast. If you live on the coast of anything, you've got to be ready to evacuate. So please, get your ducks in a row. Yes, I said get your ducks in a row. I have a rubber ducky here somewhere. Get your ducks in a row, and let's take care of the things that we need to take care of. Now, as soon as I get off of here, I'm going to um, get the rest of our dinner ready to go. I'm going to stick it in the oven, and I will be, dinner will be ready at 6 o'clock. Robert did his part. He went to the grocery store and got us all stocked up on everything. And, yeah, it's going to become a cat, too. It's 90-mile-an-hour winds. 65-mile-an-hour winds is a cat one. So it's getting close. It's getting close. So take care of yourself. Gather up the things you need to gather up. Pull up our preparedness list from our website, the 11 P's of preparedness. Say that fast three times. And make sure you have all you need. Let me see if I can find it on my website right quick. Where is Safari? Yep. Bookmarks, bookmarks, flylady.net, P. Go. Let's see if I can go over. Are you ready for a big storm? Here we go. Let's go over it right quick. Because whether you live in Louisiana, Arkansas, Tennessee, North Carolina. This storm is going to curve up and hit us. So have a plan to get people out of your house, you know, and where, where are you going? And put together an emergency bag of food and water. Include some snacks, dried fruits, nuts, peanut, peanut butter, crackers, granola bars. This is for the car because sometimes you get stuck in long lines of traffic. Make sure that your pets, you're ready to get your pets going. So know where your pet carriers are. Are you ready to get them in their pet carrier? That's an ordeal for us. I mean, we have a cat that won't go in a carrier. I have to practically put a blanket over her to put her in a carrier. And it just, she's just a basket case after that. Um, pictures. Where are your pictures? Do you have them up on the cloud? You're safe. But if you have photo albums and your wedding album and different things that you would really cry if you lost, pack them up, put them in a basket, put them in the car. Um, papers. Important papers. They should be in your log, log box, but you need copies of insurance insurance forms and different things. That you need need to have those with you because if they get blown away in the house, what good are they going to do? Prescriptions. Get your medicine refilled. Now. Do it. Uh, where's your purse? Do you have everything you need in your purse? Get things in your purse. Get it packed up. And is the car full of gas? Get that done. We're getting close to you having to leave, so let's get a move on. Uh, proper clothes. You have rain gear. You have boots. Because it's going to come a lot of rain. Houston has seen a lot of rain from Hurricane Harvey in the past. It was 50, 60 inches of rain in just a few days. It's, it's awful. Justin said we could get 6 to 10 inches here. We had 5 inches this weekend at our house. 5 inches of rain. So our rivers can't hold any more rain. They're already overflowing. Yeah, know where your keys are. This is good. Um, take your calendar with you. Take your calendar. Because if you have your computer and your calendar with you, your kids can still do school. And you know what time their classes are. 
and be sure and grab some toys for the kids. Comfort items, proper clothes and comfort items. Uh, grab your calendar. You know, is it that time of the month? Do you need personal protection? Yeah, don't forget your birth control pills and don't forget um, uh, your tampons and different things. You just, you need to be careful. And we don't really leave our guns in the house, so we would take our guns with us too. Um, phones and radios. Do you have a backup charger for your phone? This is a little backup charger for phones. They're cheap on Amazon. You can get a really good one, like 10,000 10, units for about 15 bucks. But it's too late to order one, but you need one for when your power goes out. And the main thing, and backup radio. You need a backup radio. We have a radio that's a hand crank radio. So having a backup radio is great because a lot of times you don't have electricity and having being able to access local radio is really good. I remember one time I was in a snowstorm down in Alabama and the, only, the power went out and all the radio we had was a little transistor, but we got to listen to talk radio out of Birmingham. And it was the funniest thing. The methadone addicts, you know, it, it had snowed three feet. And Birmingham isn't ready for three feet of snow, I'm telling you. It's just not ready. And they, it was, people won't know how they're going to get to the methadone clinic. And it, it, it was sad and funny at the same time. But the main thing you got to pack is your patience. Because everybody's in the same boat. You're trying to get out of the way of this storm and just get away. Get away. You're out of town. Roads will be marked. And yes, Bertha, you are right. You are right. You need your login information for your, your, your passwords and stuff. You need to have them. I keep mine in a safe place in my phone in an area that's locked. And you may want to lock your phone. Put a code in. I know it's inconvenient at home to have a security code on your phone, but when you're traveling, you need to put the code on. It's important. So folks, and right now we need masks and we need gloves and we need hand sanitizer. So don't forget these things because if you have to go into a shelter, you're going to need to be safe. Yeah, because there's still COVID around. So folks, Hurricane Sally's on her, on her way to Louisiana. And we got to be safe. I want you safe. So get your devices. My iPad just told me I have an update tonight at midnight. I think I'll update it right now in a minute so it'll be done. So check your weather, check the check your local authorities, see what they're saying. And if you live in a low-lying area, you may need to get out. Don't wait until it's too late. Because then you have to ride it out. And that's not fun when the power's uh, when the power's on and your house floods. It's dangerous. So take care of yourself, everybody. Please take care of yourself. Yeah, that's what I already said. It's going to hit Louisiana, and then you got the Mississippi Gulf Coast and the Alabama Gulf Coast. It's going to hit the southern part of the United States. So please, please, please be safe. Well, y'all, have a good rest of the evening. I love you all. Come back again tomorrow at, at 11. We will have another show. Get your calendars ordered. Use coupon code CLEAN25 to save 25%. We have mop cloths for the extra large mop that are they're, uh, half price. 
get your mini calendar. This is great for menu planning. And tomorrow we're going to do some menu planning because it's plan and play day. Purple rags are half price. And, you know, get stocked up. You know, one of the cutest Christmas presents you can give somebody is to give them a basket. You know, we have got a new new tool. It is a laundry basket, but it, it's collapsible. See how thin it is? Watch this. I have to turn it over to do it. But this is a basket. Think about taking your a laundry basket like this, which could be a foot soaking tub, lots of wonderful things. Filling it full of going to the dollar store, but get some pink rags for it and get some bubble bath and some different things in it and build your best friend or your mom a wonderful pampering packet and put some wonderful things, a manicure set. And then that way she just has to grab her, her um, bucket and go sit down somewhere, fill it full of warm water with some, a bag of Epsom salt. You have time now to put together an amazing pamper package. Yeah, you do. And somebody's going to really enjoy that. So, folks, take some time today. And I will see you tomorrow at 11 o'clock. I love you all. Bye.